New Balance is on fire and they're dropping some of the best sneakers out there. And in today's video, we're counting down the top 10 New Balance sneakers that you can grab right now in 2022 so you don't miss out. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and New Balance is probably my favorite sneaker brand out there right now, which is crazy to say because I review all sorts of sneakers on the channel, but New Balance has just been absolutely killing it like the last two or three years. And I'm not just talking about hype, New Balance sneakers are incredibly comfortable, they use some of the best materials out there, and they're priced really well. And so that's why I was really looking forward to doing today's video because I love New Balance sneakers and I want to show you guys some of my favorites that you can grab right now. Yes, obviously some of New Balance's best releases are very limited collections with some of the most talented designers out there, but that's not really what today's video is about. Instead of counting down the top 10 best New Balance sneakers of the year, which is something that I'll probably do at the end of the year, we're talking about the top 10 New Balance sneakers or silhouettes that you can walk into any store right now and grab. They're shoes that might not be incredibly hyped, but they're some of the best sneakers out there. And to make things easier for you if you decide you want to pick up any of the shoes listed in today's video, I've made sure to leave affiliate links to all of these shoes in the description below. But with all of that being said, let's dive right into the list. Starting things off with the honorable mention, we've got the New Balance 650R. So personally, the New Balance 650R is one of my favorite New Balance releases of the entire year, but there's a reason why the shoe is an honorable mention and not somewhere on the list. So as of right now, the New Balance 650R silhouette released exclusively as an ALD or Emilion Door collaboration. And whenever a shoe is a collaboration, that usually means that the sneaker is produced in very limited numbers and sells out very quickly, and that was definitely the case with the ALD New Balance 650Rs. But like I said, that's really a bummer because this shoe is a really well-made shoe, it looks very clean, and the leathers used on this shoe are pretty high quality for the price point. Speaking of which, the retail price point for this shoe, or at least this collaboration, is $165. And if you decide to grab this shoe for resale, which is the only way to grab this sneaker at the moment, you're going to pay between $200 to $250, which is not a crazy resale price, but it's definitely more more than this shoe probably is worth. Unless you're a fan of ALD and New Balance like I am, in which case you've probably paid around $300 for a pair of these like I have. Regardless, the New Balance 650R is an awesome sneaker and hopefully in the future New Balance will release a non-collaboration version of this shoe so it's a lot easier to get. So this shoe is actually a retro of a classic New Balance basketball performance sneaker and it's been in the vault for the last three decades. In fact, the original version of this shoe first released back in the 80s alongside other classic basketball sneakers like the Air Jordan 1s and the Adidas Forums. And lucky for us, the founder of ALD, Teddy Santis, who is now actually the creative director over at New Balance, he decided to take this sneaker out of the vault and create this insane collaboration. And as I'm probably going to say about a lot of the sneakers on today's list, this shoe is absolutely fire and New Balance and Teddy Santis knock this sneaker out of the park. Number 10, the New Balance 574. The 574 is one of New Balance's most popular sneakers of all time. The design of this shoe is sort of a hybrid between road and trail shoes and is actually slightly wider than any of the previous versions of this sneaker in the past, which a lot of people liked because there's a lot of wide footers out there. And actually, that's one of the main reasons that New Balance has been such a popular brand over the years, because they do offer a lot of wide footer friendly options. In fact, this shoe actually comes in three different versions per size. You've got a standard version, a wide version, and an extra wide version. Needless to say, the 574 is a classic New Balance sneaker that works for just about every foot type and is also a clean, understated look. And it's also the most well-priced sneaker on the list. This shoe comes in at a retail price of just 85 bucks. And for 85 bucks, the suede and the meshes that are used on this shoe all feel very high quality. Not only that, the outsole also features some recycled materials. So all around, this is a pretty eco-friendly shoe as well. As far as comfort, it's good, but it's not incredible. It's just like the looks of this shoe. It's simple, clean, and straight to the point. And for 85 bucks, you can't really find anything better. Number nine, the New Balance Kawhi 2. So in 2019, when Kawhi Leonard beat my Sixers in the playoffs game seven, which I'm gonna be honest, still stings, and then went on to win the championship, he did all of that in a pair of New Balances. And since then, and also during the resurgence of New Balance into basketball performance sneakers, Kawhi Leonard has been the front man. And of course, being New Balance's main signature athlete, he has to have his own signature sneaker. And this is Kawhi's second signature shoe with New Balance, the Kawhi 2. Now, as you would expect from the top of the line New Balance performance basketball sneaker, this shoe features a bunch of crazy new technology. The midsole features fuel cell cushioning, which makes the shoe pretty soft underfoot, and also allows the shoe to have a great heel to toe transition. The upper of the shoe features kinetic stitch, which is New Balance's new data-driven stitching pattern, which allows the upper of the shoe to be supportive while still staying very flexible and breathable. And the overall shape of the shoe allows you to get really locked in so you get that true one-to-one -one fit. And personally, while this particular Goosebumps colorway of the Kawhi 2 is not my favorite, I think overall the Kawhi 2 is one of the best-looking performance basketball sneakers available on the market. So much so that if I had this shoe in the right colorway, I might actually consider wearing this shoe casually. Now because this shoe is New Balance's top-of-the-line performance basketball shoe, it does 
does come in at a top of the line performance basketball price of 160 bucks. And while that is cheaper than a lot of the other sneaker brands out there, it is pretty expensive for New Balance basketball. And I think you'll find that a little bit later on down the list, there's another performance basketball sneaker that in my opinion performs a bit better for a little bit cheaper of a price. That being said though, just like the signature athlete, the New Balance Kawhi 2 is a beast of a performer on court. And it's also, in my opinion, one of the best looking basketball sneakers out there. Number eight, the New Balance 327. With the design heavily inspired by 70s running sneakers, the New Balance 327 is a modern take on that classic look. And while this shoe might not be considered a performance running shoe by 2022 standards, it's still a great looking lifestyle sneaker and a shoe that comes at a pretty incredible price. For just 100 bucks, the New Balance 327 comes in a ton of different colorways, features a bunch of really great premium materials like the suede on the toe, and in some cases the suede on the New Balance logo, and is also a very clean looking silhouette. This particular colorway is the limited Raheem Sterling collaboration, and because of that, it has sold out. However, there's tons of other great New Balance 327s out there that I definitely recommend checking out. What I love about this shoe is just how unassuming it is. It's not a crazy looking sneaker. It's not too far out there. It doesn't even feature top of the line tech, but for a hundred bucks, you're still getting an incredibly clean looking sneaker. It's not overly done. It's still very comfortable underfoot, and it's a shoe that you can beat up and not feel bad about it. Also, I love the versatility of the design of this sneaker. You can wear it to the office. You can wear it to the gym. You can wear it to wherever you want and it still looks like it fits in perfectly. And even though this shoe was incredibly popular when it first came out two or three years ago, I feel like now it's slept on but it's still just as good of a sneaker. Number seven, the New Balance 993. So the New Balance 993 is part of New Balance's 990 line or I guess 990 family of sneakers. And because of that, it features a shape and aesthetic that's very similar to other sneakers that will also be on the list, like the 990s and the 992s, not to ruin the list, but let's be honest, they're gonna be on the list. But what's nice about this shoe compared to some of the other sneakers on this list is that this shoe is a lot more attainable. This shoe is a lot easier to find, especially in this gray Castle Rock colorway, which has become New Balance's brand colors. In addition to the very premium feeling suede used on the upper of this shoe, and also the pretty nice feeling mesh as well, this sneaker is actually manufactured primarily in the United States. And New Balance is not shy about letting you know. They feature a USA detail on the heel, a made in the USA tag on the tongue, as well as some other details on the sock liner of the sneaker and all over the box. Now I should say that made in the US doesn't mean that the entire shoe was made in the United States. It just means that a majority of the shoe was assembled in the United States. I'm sure parts of the shoe like the midsole were actually manufactured overseas and then were shipped to the US to actually be put together. In fact, I think New Balance actually got into a little bit of legal trouble recently because they were claiming that some of their shoes were made in the United States that were below the percentage of manufacturing required to say that you're made in the United States, meaning that a percentage of the shoe has to be made and manufactured in the United States, and apparently they were claiming that a shoe was made in the United States when it was below that percentage or something like that. Like their claims, I'm not 100% sure of all the details. Ooh, that was a low blow. I'm sorry, New Balance, I still love you guys. Regardless, this shoe was primarily made in the United States and because of that, you can tell that there is a little bit higher level of quality when it comes to construction. And New Balance also has a line of shoes that are made in the UK called their Made in the UK line, which I believe is exclusively sold in Europe and the UK. But all of that being said, the New Balance 993 is a great looking sneaker. It features incredible materials as well as a really solid construction. Plus, it's incredibly comfortable on foot. In addition, to the well padded and actually surprisingly breathable upper, the shoe also features an absorbed midsole with Activa cushioning, which means that underfoot it's going to be very soft and it's a sneaker that's very easy to rock all day and you're not going to have any discomfort. And like I said, it features that 990 or in this case 993 design aesthetic, which is so clean and so iconic for New Balance. Now the price point of the 993 is on the higher end. In fact, this is the most expensive shoe on the list because it retails for a price of $200. Which while yes, this is a great looking sneaker and it feels great on foot, 200 bucks is still a lot of money to pay for a pair of sneakers and there are some shoes that look very similar to this shoe later on in the list that are priced a little bit better. However, you may have trouble finding some of those shoes in some of the more popular colorways. Number six, the New Balance Two-Way V2. So this is that performance basketball shoe that I was talking about earlier on in the list when we were talking about the Kawhi 2s that's actually priced better than the Kawhi 2s and in some ways performs better on court. So as the name would suggest, the Two-Way V2 is the second iteration of this shoe. This is New Balance's non-signature athlete basketball sneaker. It's just their general purpose basketball shoe and because of that it comes in at a retail price of 130 bucks. Now for that 130 bucks you're actually getting a great on-court performance basketball shoe. The first thing that you'll notice besides the very playful almost toy-like aesthetic which I'm not gonna lie I don't love this shoe is incredibly light. I'm only exaggerating a little bit when I say this but it kind of feels like I'm holding nothing it's crazy. And that's something that really feels good on court when you're playing basketball it doesn't feel like it's holding you back. The two-way v2 really allows you to move the way that you'd want on court without feeling constrained plus 
it offers some decent ankle protection. So like the Kawhi 2s, the New Balance 2-way V2s also feature that kinetic stitch on the upper which allows the shoe to be stable and hold your foot in place while still feeling very flexible and breathable. Plus, it also features a fuel cell midsole which feels incredibly soft on your foot and actually softer than the Kawhi 2s. Now the materials overall aren't as premium as the Kawhi 2s and the shoe doesn't feel as premium or as expensive as the Kawhi 2s, but at the end of the day, you're saving like 30 bucks and while the shoe doesn't look as good, it performs a little bit better. And honestly, if you're just grabbing the shoe to play ball in, you're gonna love this shoe. It's actually one of the best performance basketball sneakers out at the moment, which is kind of crazy. And priced at just 130 bucks, you can't do much better. But let's be honest, all of the sneakers that we've talked about on today's list so far are great shoes. They're all very comfortable and so are all the sneakers coming up on today's list. However, you're not getting the most comfortable on foot experience if you're not also wearing a great pair of socks. So two years ago, I co-founded a sock brand called Apothecary and at Apothecary, we strive to make your sneakers favorite socks. Not only do these socks go great with your sneakers, but they're also incredibly comfortable and very breathable because of our ISO weave technology. And in addition to our essentials line, which comes in colors that you can't find on socks anywhere else, we also drop limited collections every two weeks that are either collaborations with artists or just really cool pairs of socks, which usually sell out in a couple minutes. So if you would like to check out Apothecary for yourself, make sure to click the link in the top of the description below. And if you'd like to be notified about our upcoming limited collections, make sure to sign up for our email list. Number five, the New Balance 992. So this shoe has topped many of my top 10 lists and that's because the New Balance 992 is such a great overall shoe. Unfortunately, this colorway is no longer available. This is a collaboration. It's the Joe Fresh Goods Anatomy of a Heart collaboration. This collab sold out the day it released back in 2020 and has not restocked and probably never will restock. However, this shoe does come in a lot of really great colorways that you can actually walk into your local Foot Locker and still grab. Now, as you can probably see, the 992 is a very similar looking shoe to the New Balance 993s, but in my opinion, it's a slightly better looking shoe and it's a little bit more comfortable underfoot. Also, it's priced a little bit better. The retail price of the 992s is 185 bucks versus the $200 of the 993s. So as with a lot of the shoes on this list, the 992 not only looks great, but it's also very comfortable on foot. It's actually a very similar feeling shoe to the 993s. You've got a very well padded upper that's again, surprisingly breathable. You've also got a pretty well cushioned midsole. It's a little bit firmer than the 993s, at least in my opinion, but it also features that absorbed cushion and in an interesting little tidbit of information, the New Balance 992s in the Castle Rock colorway were actually Steve Jobs' shoe of choice. You could also probably tell from all of the USA branding, the 992s is another one of New Balance's silhouettes that are manufactured in the United States. And as far as aesthetics, in my opinion, the New Balance 992s are one of the best looking New Balance sneakers ever made, especially in this colorway and also in that Castle Rock colorway, which is always sold out. The good news is if you're looking for a pair of these not in this colorway, you can find a bunch of great colorways through that link in the description below. Number four, the New Balance Fresh Foam 1080 V12. So this is by far the most comfortable sneaker on this list. The Fresh Foam 1080 V12 is New Balance's latest flagship running sneaker and it feels incredible on foot. And the reason for that is this incredibly soft and pretty thick Fresh Foam X midsole. I'm a huge fan of cushy and soft midsoles and this Fresh Foam X used in the midsole of this sneaker just feels like you're walking on clouds. It's incredible. Not only that, it also has some nice responsiveness to it. So if you're running in this shoe, you feel like you're getting propelled into the next step and you don't feel like you're just bouncing on something that's overly soft. Which sounds like it wouldn't make sense with the last thing that I said, but it's this really crazy mix of softness and propulsion. It's just, it's incredible. And pair all of that with the incredibly soft and breathable Hypo Knit Upper, and you get a running sneaker that's not only great for running, but is one of the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. I mean, this knit is stupid soft and stupid stretchy. It feels like a second pair of socks on top of your socks. It's crazy. Plus, you've got all this nice padding and support around the heel that really locks you in and makes your foot feel like it's just surrounded by pillows. You get all this comfort and support where you need it. You get all this softness and breathability where you need it and then you get this crazy soft ride underneath your foot it all comes together to create this incredible running sneaker that just feels great on foot and for primarily lifestyle wearers like myself who runs in this shoe every so often but primarily wears the shoe just to go to the store this is one of the most comfortable shoes in my entire collection and I absolutely recommend it now the price point of this shoe is slightly on the higher end at 160 bucks especially when compared to other shoes on this list but again you're buying the flagship New Balance running sneaker and this sort of technology comes at a price number three the New Balance 2002 R the 2002 R is a 2000s running sneaker inspired shoe but in my opinion the best part of the shoe is the aesthetics the looks of this sneaker I think it's a great looking shoe and other people seem 
seem to think the same thing because this shoe keeps getting collaborations on this silhouette. And while this version of the shoe that I'm holding isn't technically a collaboration, it's still an incredibly sought after shoe. Just in case you don't know, this is the Rain Cloud colorway from the Protection Pack, one of New Balance's more limited sneaker collections that they dropped. And this shoe sold out instantly and is now reselling for like 600 bucks, it's crazy. That being said, you can still grab a pair of 2002 R's that look very similar to this shoe for just regular retail price, which is just 140 bucks and is in my opinion, a great price. Now, in addition to the New Balance 2002 R just looking great and getting a ton of awesome collaborations, the shoe is also very comfortable. Like some of the other 990 sneakers that we talked about on this list, the shoe features a very well padded upper, a pretty decently breathable mesh on the toe, as well as an absorbed midsole that features Energy, one of New Balance's proprietary cushioning technologies. And again, I mean, look at this shoe. It looks amazing. I mean, look at this other collaboration. This is one of the Salehi Bembry 2002 R's. And I love the way this shoe looks. I love Salehi Bembry, but this shoe, this is fire. If you're looking for a great lifestyle sneaker that comes in a bunch of different colorways that looks incredible on foot, look no further than the New Balance 2002 R. Number two, the New Balance 990 V5. So while yes, I have the New Balance 990 V5 taking the number two spot on the list, I would actually be fine substituting this shoe out for any of the other 990 V sneakers. For example, the slightly older model, the New Balance 990 V3, and also the upcoming model, the New Balance 990 V6, which at the time of recording this video in June 2022 still has not released but I've been looking forward to that sneaker for like a year and a half. Just New Balance, drop the shoe. I need it. The New Balance 990 line is probably one of New Balance's most popular lines of sneakers ever. And what I love about these shoes is how incredibly versatile they are. These are probably some of the best lifestyle sneakers ever made. And I mean, not only that, you can also run in these shoes. They're pretty great neutral running sneakers and were originally designed to be running sneakers. Now, in my opinion, all of the 990 V sneakers are good looking shoes, but there are definitely some standouts that I think look better than some of the others. In particular, you've got the New Balance 990 V3s, which just look amazing and have had a lot of really great collaborations this year because they look so good. I mean, I'll show you two of them right now, the Joe Fresh Goods collab and the Bodega collab, both great looking sneakers. But not only that, you've also got the 990 V1 and V2 and V4, which are all great looking sneakers, and soon the V6, and all of those sneakers could just as easily be in the same spot on this list. I just don't have any pairs of those. But let's focus on the newest one, at least at the time of recording this video, the New Balance 990 V5. So this shoe is so great, not only because it looks clean, but also pretty unassuming, so you can rock this with pretty much anything and get away with it. But in addition to the styling, it's also incredibly comfortable. You've got probably the softest upper out of every shoe on the list. You've got this really premium feeling suede and nubuck material all over the entire upper of the shoe. You've got this end cap midsole, which is super soft underfoot. And this honestly is my go-to everyday sneaker. The 990 V5 is a shoe that I throw on the most out of every sneaker in my entire collection. And that's because this shoe is just so incredibly versatile and so are any of the 990s on this list. Oh, and of course you can't forget, especially because of this giant American flag branding, that this shoe is manufactured in the United States. And for a slightly higher, but also reasonable price point of 185 bucks, you're getting the kind of shoe that you could wear every single day, all day, for a couple years and not have to upgrade or change shoes because this shoe just works for every situation. And I cannot wait for the 990 V6. New Balance, if you're watching this, I'm sorry about that joke. I made earlier about the Made in the USA stuff. Could you send me a pair of 990 V6s? I'd love to check them out. Number one, the New Balance 550. So I'm not gonna lie, the reason this shoe is number one on the list is probably because I have a sweet spot for this sneaker. This shoe, in my opinion, is the perfect retro shoe. Like the New Balance 650R, this shoe is actually a basketball sneaker from the 80s, but was thrown into the vault until it was pulled out of the vault by the same person who pulled out the 650s, Teddy Santis. And just like with the 650Rs, this shoe first released as an ALD collaboration, but now a few years later, this shoe is releasing as just a standard New Balance shoe. So no, the New Balance 550 is not the most comfortable shoe on the list. In fact, it's probably one of the least comfortable shoes on the list. It's not uncomfortable, but when you compare this shoe to like the New Balance 1080 V12, this shoe is gonna lose. But the styling of this sneaker is so classic and so clean, and I'm a sucker for retro sneakers. My favorite shoe of all time is the Air Jordan 1. Sorry, New Balance, but it's true. And this shoe, in my opinion, is like the Air Jordan 1 of New Balance. This is the basketball sneaker of basketball sneakers, and I love that about it. And what I love even more about this shoe is not just the fact that this shoe looks great, but it's also such a great canvas for collaborations. Like the New Balance 2002 R, the New Balance 550 is one of those shoes that you can throw any colorway on and it's gonna look super clean. As you can see, this is the ALD 550 collaboration. This is one of the most popular colorways of this shoe. 
and it just looks great. And I mean, to be honest, if hype is your goal and you wanna grab the most hype New Balance silhouette, the New Balance 550 is that shoe. Not every colorway is hyped up, but you can find a lot of really great colorways at Foot Locker's and on New Balance's website that are very clean and people will still respect you for your footwear choice in those colorways. In my opinion, the New Balance 550 is probably the most sneakerhead friendly shoe on the list. It's probably the shoe that you'll get noticed in the most. And if you're trying to grab a great pair of good looking everyday shoes that you can wear in pretty much any situation, and even maybe play basketball in if you want, the New Balance 550 is the way to go. And for a surprisingly reasonable retail price of 110 bucks, the New Balance 550 is a no-brainer. But that pretty much wraps up the entire list for today. Now, I would love to know your thoughts on this list and which shoes you liked on the list and which shoes you felt like I left off that should have been on the list. So make sure to let me know your thoughts in that comment section down below. Once again, if you want to grab your sneakers favorite socks, some of the best socks out there and socks that would go great with any of the New Balance sneakers on today's list, make sure to click the link in the description below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.